Oh, <clears throat> hello, people of the internet. Uh, my name is Killian. Hello. Okay. Uh, special guest. Special guest. Uh, Dennis. Mr. Retardio 64. Yeah, go subscribe to his channel, not mine. Please, God, he puts out so much better content than I do. No, no, stop! Just shut your face. I'm sure she's put some thought into telling them in into telling them in the past, but I'm not the voice of depression. Remember the other day when we went to the park? You brought up the time that you fell into the water, and I had to save you. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Do you remember how your parents reacted when they saw us afterwards? Jesus Christ. You sound like you're a million miles away from the freaking microphone. <laughs> they were terrified when you told them that you had fallen into the lake. Heh. <laughs> they were worried sick until I explained what had actually happened. But they, they got mad at me, too. For a little while, yeah. Is that bad or is that good? D a, d a little less p high pitched, please. But but think past what happened after they were mad. You, me, both of our parents. We were all joking and laughing about your clumsiness and how I was a hero. I remember that you almost fell over when my dad patted you over your back. Well, it's not my fault your dad is so buff. Dennis is now playing Gary's mod. Mm. Is that me? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, my scrawny kid self aside, the point is, even though your parents were worried and then mad, in the end, those feelings were replaced with joy. It's because they love you. Being around you makes them happy. So when they worry about you, they're trying to protect their own happiness as well as yours. <laughs> Guess it's kind of like you and me. Now, now, now you have to do a questioning S sniff into the microphone. You're gonna like, <laughs> okay, good enough. Seeing me happy makes you happy, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I imagine that's how your parents feel when they see you happy. I'm sure they would be willing to do just about anything to keep you that way. So please, don't think of yourself as a burden. You like jazz? Dude, you should insert a freaking epic sax guy meme here. <laughs> All right, just, just, just speak, speak. That, that's an eye. There's an eye in there. It's supposed to be I. See what he thinks. See what he thinks over everything I just said for a moment. I, I I I can't hear you. Are you there? I want to tell them. <laughs> I want to tell them. <laughs> but, but I'm still kind of nervous. It's all right to feel nervous. I mean, you do so much better of a job at a at a Sayori voice than I do. I I I give Monica Barbie's voice. I gave Yuri freaking whisper. Dude, says the freaking says the freaking struggle that we had for thirty freaking minutes. That was it was horrible. <clears throat> and if you want me to be there with you when you tell them, I'd be more than happy to. Thanks, Killian. Did you forget? I said thanks, Killian. Yeah, but you're supposed to have like a pause. It's supposed to be like, thanks, thanks. Killian. Thanks. Because this is a comma there, then we gotta have a four second long pause, so thanks. Killian. <laughs> nice. Once Say Sayori once again leans against me, but this time she wraps her hands around our uh hold on, what did that say? I, I skipped it. Wraps her hands around my arm, okay. There's no telling what's going through her head right now. 
The idea of having to help her, t her, her tell her parents about the depression makes my confidence falter briefly. No! I could do it no problemo for her. I would do anything, even fight her dad if need be. <laughs> I realize that I'm getting ahead of myself just a tad. Her dad could easily decapitate me with a single punch. Jesus Christ. Silence continues to fill the room as Sayori holds my arm in a DEATH GRIP. Hope she doesn't cut off my freaking circulation. This silence, however, doesn't feel tense or awkward. This feels... nice. Um, Jillian? Okay. Can't say that was on my mind. Ding dang dang it, I forgot all about it. We should probably get going, huh? She releases my arm, allowing for the circulation to restart, and we both get up off the couch. Thank God, I can actually, like... For the second time today. For the second time today, we begin our journey towards the school. But something is noticeably different this time. Instead of pulling me and trying to get me to hurry up, Sayori leisurely walks by my side. After walking in silence for a while, we naturally fall back into our routine of small talk and playful banter. This time, though, we're holding hands while doing it. Along the way, we agree that we should just keep our relationship under wraps for a little while until we're both comfortable telling everyone. Comfortable. Once we arrive at the school, we are let in by the office worker and both receive Captain tardy slips. Zach. Oh yeah, his freaking profile picture is like this freaking bowl cut kid. Oh, ho hold on, hold on. People are people are ringing my doorbell. I'll be back. You need to subscribe to this dude. If you check out my channel, I'm gonna link his channel down below. So, subscribe to this man. Subscribe to him for real. He's such a cool dude. He has low self-confidence, but he's an amazing dude. So, support him in the comments, please. And go, go ahead and subscribe to this dude. And, yeah. Hope you enjoy the rest of this video. bum lug it bum lug it -lug again Don't hey boys, I'm back. Dennis, you still there? Yeah. If you start gaining subscribers, you should know why. Uh, oh no. We say our farewells and start start toward our classes. I couldn't be happier as I heard... as <laughs> I can't speak. I couldn't be happier as I head towards my second period, but this feeling doesn't last too long. <clears throat> I present my tardy slip to the teacher as I enter the classroom. She gives me a stern look for interrupting her lecture, but I have other things on my mind. I take a seat and I play over this morning's event. I kissed Sayori! Cool. These last few days have really been something. Even if I can't totally solve some of the problems I'm faced with, I'll stick with it, even helping just a little- Oh, frick, I'm stupid. Even helping just a little could make a big difference. Uh, plus, if things don't work out, I'm still a bona fide time wizard. I have to suppress a laugh as I think back on my previous self. So much has happened since then. I gave Monica a Barbie voice, that's what happened back then. Feels like it was forever ago. Wrapping my mind around the fact that I that I thought it was a time wizard that I was a time wizard only four days ago proved to be quite hard. Still, I can't really say I've matured all that much. For all I know, I I really have gone off the deep end. Once again I suppress a laugh and then decide to do something truly insane. Oh god! You know what? Screw it! I'm gonna pay attention in my classes today. <laughs> I turn my confidence towards the teacher as she continues her lecture. And so, if you could refer to the to Mercury as the dead planet, its weak gravity and lack of tectonics, pre yeah, <laughs> prevented from having an atmosphere. Huh? I stealthily dig my finger into my ear and try and clear up this ringing. 
What the hell is happening? Dizziness I felt in the bathroom this morning it begins to return. Damn it, not here! What am I supposed to do? Light suddenly feels as though it burns in my eyes. I try my best not to show any sign of panic, but it's becoming increasingly difficult. I squint at the clock and try and make out the time. Only ten minutes left. I just have to hold out for ten... Ten more minutes... That's my face hitting the desk. I, I wanted to tell you for a while. I was kind of scared to. No, that's only for I, me. Because it's in my I'm, head. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just didn't want you to worry. Are you sure? You don't have to today if... Alright. We can at least wait until I'm done with classes. I don't want to fall behind again. Oh, okay. I'll just tell Monica that I have a doctor's appointment. I, she won't mind if I miss just one day. Thanks. Also, could you maybe tell tell Dad for me? So it's just like a future conversation that's going on in his head that he's like. Uh, I have passing. no idea. Does he like pass out and then his? And then he has, like, I I I I I honestly have no idea. Just continue reading. <clears throat> I, I love you too. I'll call again when my last class ends. Bye. Do I wake up in the? Do I wake up in class? Oh, uh. <coughs> okay, I don't. Oh God, the creepy music's happening. What's gonna happen? I slowly pick my head up off the desk and look around the room. Where is everybody? Did they just leave me when the class ended? Bunghole. <laughs> I slip my notebook into my bag uh, and begin to stand up. Panic overcomes me as I immediately feel nauseous once I'm on my feet. This music is extremely unsettling. I throw my backpack over my shoulder and rush out of the room. I sprint through the hall towards the restroom. My brain doesn't process it now, but the hallway is completely empty. I burst into the restroom and throw open a stall. <laughs> I proceed to do something very ugly into the toilet. Well, I just vomited. This mess continues on and off for a few minutes before I finally start to feel better. By the end, I'm sweaty, my hands are shaking, and my throat burns like hell. Knees weak, palms are sweaty, <laughs> palms are sweaty, this is not a classic, but mom's spaghetti. I attempt to cheer my, uh, myself up. My attempt to cheer myself up falls flat in all regards. What's happening to me? The migraine, the nosebleed, going colorblind, passing out in my ba in in my bathroom and class, and now this. I'm I'm actually freaking dying. My freaking my time wizard stuff. Like messing with time is definitely messing with me as well. So that's not very Can good. You skip ahead in time or some crap. I don't know. My throat burns even more as I try and swallow my fear. Damn! Why now? Why does it have to be? Why does it have to happen when I finally manage to get things to go well? I try to clench my fists, but all the muscles in my arm are too fatigued. Maybe I really should go to a doctor about this. Or at the very least, tell my parents about it. Even though I lectured Sayori about telling her parents about her depression this morning, this feels different. I put my hand on my forehead to check for a fever, but it's hard to tell with all the sweat. Mom and Dad are three hours away on business, and I don't want them rushing home because I might have a virus or the flu or something. It's a little sad to think about, but I've become quite a quite adept at talking. Taking care of myself. Uh, of taking care of myself over the years. Well, I, I can't talk. I'll just go to the drugstore after school and pick up some antibiotics. If Mom calls about it, I'll just tell her I'm not feeling well. I, I take some time to gather my strength before finally leaving the stall. Aside from some fatigue, purging my system did- whoops. I accidentally muted my sound. Ooh, god, why is that so loud? What? 
Hold on, I'm screwing everything up. Oh my, that, that's why. Here we go. Aside from from some fatigue, purging my system did seem to make me feel quite a bit better. I washed my hands and rinsed my mouth at the sink before making my way back into the hall. Ew! I checked the time on my phone as I left the bathroom and see that it's already halfway through third period. Damn, how long was I out in class? It really is strange that no one woke me up. Plus, isn't there supposed to be another class in there after mine ended? My brow froze as I think about it. It's probably just the teacher's... My thoughts seize as I hear the door to the girls' bathroom close next to me. I see a familiar figure as I sneak a glance who it is. Monica! <laughs> oh, God. A, what voice did I give Monica? It was like, huh? Killian. <laughs> There's an unusual paleness to her that I'm not used to seeing. Is she sick, too? Oh, uh, hiya. Hey, I wasn't expecting to run into you out here. Why is she trying to put on a happy face? It's clear that she isn't feeling well. God, this is the worst. Don't tell me that you were skipping class. No, I was just vomiting in the bathroom. That's all. Are you okay, Monica? You look like you're not feeling too well. Thanks, I'm glad you think I look sick. <laughs> hey, you freaking shut your mouth, woman. I know, sorry. I was just feeling a little nauseous in classes after that was all. I can't, I hate myself a lot. But I'm fine now, don't worry about it. <clears throat> well, I'm glad to hear that you're feeling better. Hmm? <laughs> what about you, Killian? You look like you haven't been feeling all that great either. Huh? Me? Please, I'm the pinnacle of health. Killian. He. Sorry. I guess I was just feeling something similar. And I swear I'm not trying to copy you, but I also feel better now. News of my improved health doesn't seem to cheer her up. Strange. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Oh, nothing important. I was just thinking about something. Anyways, I'm glad to hear that you're feeling better now. After all, I wouldn't want any of my club, club members to be sick. Club members, huh? And here I was thinking we were friends. Put on a pouty face and try and, to try and guilt trip Monica. Ugh, I hate this so much. I'll keep writing good poems and I'm sure you'll make it there eventually. It's clear my conversational skills are nowhere near her level. Ha ha, how clever. But it's a real shame. It just so happens that I only show my poems to my friends, ya you know? Well, it looks like you're just gonna have to work fast if you want me to read them so badly. How'd she get to me again? <laughs> alright, alright, I give up. Come on, don't tell me that's all you can handle! Uh, I gave her like a Barbie voice, right? Where, how, do, how do I do a Barbie voice? Heh. <laughs> Shouldn't you begin to class or something? After all, I wouldn't want to be responsible for the class star's grades to slip. Uh, what's like? What's Barbie's voice like? I think I can afford for, for my grades to slip a bit. You, on the other hand, that's mean. You're mean. I will win against this girl one day. I swear so upon my knight's honor. Hey. I'm on your time. I'm just- I, I, I don't know what that means. I'm just waiting to escort you back to your class. When once you getting attacked by any stray books or pencils, you know? <sighs> this makes me want to die so much. Oh my! How could I have forgotten you were such a gentleman? <laughs> well then, shall we be going? After you. As we began our way down the hall, I began to feel a little anxious. I hope she doesn't put me in a position where I have to tell her about Sayori and me. Not yet, anyways. Pretty sure she's gonna do that, like, right now. Now that I'm talking about this in my head. I'm confident I can ward off any advances until then. Assuming the caveman side of my brain doesn't decide to suddenly take over. God, no! Um, killing him. <sighs> this is not good. Before we get to class, can I show you something? 
Uh, sure. Truth, truth is, I wasn't looking forward to walking in late anyways. It'll only take a second. Monica stops in front of a room that I don't think I've ever been in. <sighs> god, is this actually- Oh my god, is this- Is this gonna be it? Is this gonna- Oh wait, right, whatever. She tries the handle, but the door appears to be locked. This doesn't stop her, though. As she soon pulls out a set of keys and unlocks it. I guess if there's any student that would have a key to a classroom, that would be her. Once the door is open, we both make our way inside. Oh! Oh, of course. Okay, I guess not. I immediately realize why why she would have the keys to this room as I step in. I'm willing to bet that this is where she's been practicing piano. Even though I've never been in here before, it has a strange familiarity to it. Look at him. Over there, over there. Oh. <laughs> over there, over there? I, I, I'm trying this. I, I, I'm, I'm having a stroke. Over there, over there. I was trying to say over there on the wall, but whatever. I feel relaxed for some reason. You can probably guess why I, why I would come in here, huh? I think I have a pretty good idea. In there, recording pretty soon because I think I have to go to bed in like five minutes. Da frick frack, snick snack. I hold on. Uh, is it okay if we continue this in the morning, though, as soon as I wake up? Uh, yeah, sure, hold on. What happened? What's up, bro? What's it? Listen to this. Oh. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I hate myself. Hey, dude, guess what? Now. Smacking my microphone against my face. Okay. I'll see you later. <sighs> All right, bye. Well, that sucks. Well, let's get back into it, shall we? I had no clue the band room was on this side of the school, though. It's not actually. The band room is on the other side of the school, but it's it's too small to fit everything in it at once. So they store whatever they're not using at the time in here. And, well, since the school band can't really use a piano, I'm assuming it spends most of its time in here. Yeah. I can't help but notice that Monica seems really candid. Does this room mean a lot to her? Hmm. I mean, I, I get that she plays piano in here, but why is she being so shy about it? Well, I think it's pretty neat. Okay, nice. Right back into the sadness. Really? Yeah, a nice cozy room like this has an odd peacefulness to it, you know? I really hate voicing these women. These women, besides Natsuki, because I love doing her voice. It's like, hey! That's like my favorite voice to do. <sighs> I need a voice changer. I'm glad you think that. I feel the same way. I don't really see how you do it, though. If I had the key to an empty classroom, all my teachers would probably think I'd gone missing. Hee <laughs> That's the word. Alright, I had to read that out before I started the sentence. You're not insinuating that you would skip class, are you? No. It's more of a s statement than an insinuation. I think that's how you say that word. Hmm. Looks like I'm gonna have to to rein in. Looks like I'm gonna have to. Hmm. Looks like I'm going to have to rein in one of my club members. I don't know how to. How do? How do? I. Right, well, that's where I'm gonna end it now. So. So yeah, if you don't mind. 